In the meantime, COVID-19 restrictions will be relaxed in Trinidad and Tobago starting on Monday. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley announced the adjustment saying that the Twin Island Republic is well into the stage of living with COVID-19 and is preparing to move from the acute phase to the pandemic into the endemic phase. He said that in keeping with the general principles and on the advice of the public health care professionals, government is now aiming to tr transition from population level controls to individual level responsibility. And as a result, public transport will be allowed to return to 100% capacity. Restrictions on the length of time and capacity at religious places of worship, as well as the number of people permitted at graveside funeral services have been removed. Public gatherings of people in groups of no more than 25 are now permissible and team and contact sports are allowed. Work and school will also resume as normal. Provided that we do not have dangerous changes in the COVID-19 position, we will permit all children to return to physical schooling in term three. The Ministry of Education will continue to put out the necessary guidelines to safely manage this process. As of Monday, 7th March 2022, the public service will return to full service and all public servants will be expected to return to work as normal. Now, quarantine periods have also been shortened. The national quarantine time for contacts of positive cases has now been reduced from 14 to 10 days. For unvaccinated nationals returning to Trinidad and Tobago, a reduction in the quarantine time would be applicable. Quarantine time will be reduced from 14 days to 7 days, with discharge taking place on the receipt of a negative PCR test on the 7th day. 